Forgive my PJs, I just woke up and I wanted to rearrange my bookshelves. I last rearranged my shelves, I think start of 2022. I remember making a video and my dog was there. And I was mostly going through to culling a lot of books to make space for books I already have and were double stacked. This is all nice and tidy and done now. The shelf that you're sat on is a nightmare. But yeah, I culled a whole bunch of books. There's like three stacks from floor, you can't tell. <laughs> There's like three big stacks of books there and I produced another stack today. I'm doing this because, again, I need to make space for books I already have, but I have tendencies to hoard books. There's a whole bunch of that I've been keeping hold of that I read, enjoyed, but I'd never read again, but I wanted to keep them for like my hypothetical future library. But again, I'm not going to read these books again and for the sake of what I've got going on now, I can't keep hoarding them, so they're going to get donated to somewhere lovely, hopefully. But I want to pop in with another little little easy video like this because I've been neglecting this channel recently and it's been very self-publishing heavy content rather than book content but I will be making book reviews for every at least every book I've rated five stars this year for the entire year some more tags and more just getting back into book centric reading centric content rather than writer publishing centric content so there'll be a lot of that coming maybe over the summer but I've got some more things to talk about, so we're going to ease in this lovely little video of more books that I'm culling and why. This is no particular order, so we're just going to go through what's on top, which is Afterwards by Scott Westfield. Love this book back in the day. I think it came out around 2014, so I probably read it around that time as well. This was when I was a little baby flourishing writer getting into publishing. So this is a book that alternates between chapters of this girl getting her book published and going to events and author parties and book tours. And then actual chapters of the book, which I really love reading it. I think, to my memory, I did find myself skipping the chapters of the book she wrote because I just didn't care. I saw this as like the holy grail of how to get into publishing. But I love this book when I first read it, but I have no desire to read it again, which is a common theme for a lot of these books. So it's going to somewhere a better place. I read Carrie for the first time because I watched the film and I thought, wow, I'm such an edgy little... Well, like, like I'm looking at the copyright page as if... This, this, this was published in 2013. So this was the Chloe Grace Moretz film that came out. I would have been 12. I watched it and I was like, wow, I can be cool and edgy and quirky mysterious by getting into horror. So I bought this to read. It was okay. I don't think Stephen King in general is for me, but there are some other books of his that I'm interested in. But I've read this. It was okay. I'm never going to read it again. But about Stephen King in general, I have The Bizarre Bad Dreams. I think it's like a short story anthology. It's kind of massive that I brought to get into his books. I've had it since it came out and I still haven't read it. So you might see that book in the next one of these videos. Next we have Wonder. This has been on my shelves. Is it again since it, this came out? 20, this version came out 2014. So I probably had this since 2014. I read it for the first time maybe last year. So it's been a good eight years. And I've read it, it was okay, and now I'm not going to read it again. It's another case for holding up the universe. This is author of All the Bright Places, and I loved All the Bright Places. Controversial opinion, I think, nowadays, because the whole romanticising mental health thing. But as someone who was suffering with such poor mental health when it came out, it was a comfort blanket to me, and I'm clinging onto it for that reason. But this one, I liked it. Not as much as All the Bright Places, I liked it, and I'm never going to read it again, so it's going. I'm pretty sure I've read every YA John Green book except this one. This one's written with Maureen Johnson and Lawrence Mirac uh, Lauren Miracle. And I've attempted to start reading it and I just don't care. And I'm ne I'm this is one I'm getting rid of because I'm just never going to read it at this point. Again, I think I've had it since it came out. Not going to touch it. <laughs> I've tried touching it. I'm just... I'm I'm I know I know myself I'm never gonna read this I I'm a different person to who I was when I bought this book um this first published in 2008 this copy is not from 2008 this copy is 2013 yeah it's been it's been 10 years now I'm not 12 anymore I'm not gonna read this um I'm culling my copies of the Hunger Games because these are just the ugly covers and I want nice covers also the first book it arrived I don't I think these must have been bought for me or they came in, oh, they might have come in like a box set from the works, but the actual Hunger Games book, the pages are like this, which is a nightmare. Oh, this is around this bit where Rue dies, is <laughs> these pages. But yeah, I'm getting rid of these just to replace with better copies at some point in the future. And in the meantime, I reread them as audiobooks and I quite enjoy that because they're on Spotify as well. And now Suzanne Collins is like my third most played artist of the year. 
but these are going because I want lots of copies and there's no reason for me to keep these in the meantime. Now these three I'm torn about because this book is like the first and only zombie book that I was fully obsessed with and then these two are okay. This book would have been five cells for me when it came out and these are both like 2.53 so I was thinking of just keeping this one but you need a full set you know. So these have been dwelling on just because of how much I love this book but also I don't think I'm gonna reread this book anytime soon so we're thinking about getting rid of these. I hope someone else will love them as much as I did and I still do love this one but yeah I'm not gonna not gonna reread them. The Morganville Vampires I believe this selection is called. My copies of them are all different sizes as you can tell. I'm gonna put them down and just hold up this one. This one vaguely enjoys it is again a product of its time this, this was published in 2006. Um, I've already read this when I was around 12, 13 again. I read The Vampire Diaries first, which you can see are still down there and I'm keeping. But I read these. I like them. I read the first couple, but I think I accidentally read... Um, I read two of the books in the wrong order, swapped around, and I got confused, so I stopped reading the rest of the series. The product of its time, no desire to read anymore. And I had nothing else to say about that. I hope someone else can love them and also just the fact that they're all different sizes for no reason this is also so thin but like there's no difference in the paper there's a difference in the font size but yeah the fact that they're different sizes infuriates me seeing it on my shelf so they're going these two i'm doing together are gonna be controversial i know because i know people adore these books and they were like key iconic books as fancy books why fancy became more diverse this one i started reading i found my bookmark was about halfway through the other day and i stopped reading i think i this one i couldn't get into the writing style was just not for me and this one i think have i tried to read this one i don't think i've even tried this one i'm gonna have to give this one a shot before donating it but i think these are just just not for me which again i feel bad about just because pivotal books for the genre but i just can't get into this one and i've lost interest in this one this one this is called witch sign this is the only book i've ever won from a goodreads giveaway before they like completely changed how giveaways work and now you can't enter it from outside the us and that whole thing this is the proof copy i won this in 2018 not read it this was when i was going through a phase of just entering giveaways for every book i could that was a physical book because i wanted physical books because i was 17 and poor but never, never going to read this, I don't think. <laughs> it's been five years now. And looking at the quote on the back, I'm I'm just not interested anymore. This one, I can't sell this as a proof. This one, I'm not sure what's going to happen to you yet. And finally, we have Mallory Blackman. This one I have read. I thought it was okay. But again, I think it's a product of his time and I'm not going to read it again. And it's it's going these three there are four books in this series and the work sells them as a box set which is why they have the not for resale thing on the back but somewhere in this stack of books there is another copy of this middle one because my box set came with two copies of the middle book which i believe is the second one and no third book so i have an incomplete series and i think i am going to give these a shot before removing them from my life but i have lost interest in these ones because I am now 22 years old I got a lot of these in the five to ten years ago region and the face of YA has changed greatly from back then so we'll give it a shot I don't think it's for me anymore I'm at a different point in my life but we'll see in conclusion I am a different person to how I was when I was 12 and I think these shelves here are nice and pretty I need to put all like my shelf decoration like all my snow glows back in place and give it a nice dust but yeah also these 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 i finally got physical copies first with this one but i went to the book signing in falmouth the event with samantha shannon for this one so like it's signed it's beautiful and i am obsessed with her as a person i went to the signing without having read any of her books just because having an author come to cornwall is a very exciting thing so i thought i'm going no matter what just to show my support and then i this came with the ticket and then I impulse purchased this one in the queue to meet her and get it signed because she was just so 
lovely and charismatic and well-spoken and I'm just obsessed with everything she had to say in that interview, in that talk, I guess. I'm a little bit in love with her and now I own her giant books and they're both signed. I also got a little pin from that event, it's very cute. It's not with me right now. So yeah, my shelves are lovely and tidy now. There's little gaps in some places, there's a little gap here. Just because I know there's some books I have back at uni that will need to go in these spaces. Like Graceling needs to go in here. At some point, I'm going to clear off the shelves that you're sat on now, which has like all my childhood favourites. It's Real Dow, C.S. Lewis, Divergence. Oh, not Divergence going to go. The Dan and Phil books are in there. A whole shelf of Jacqueline Wilson. But I'm going to clear these shelves off just so I need the space. And also at some point, I'd like to have a dedicated area for the books that are published under Little Oaks Independent Publishing because I have, these are some, these are rough proof copies. This one's an A5, it's not in the right shape. But now that I'm going to start having a collection of books with my logo on the spine, I want to have a dedicated space for them. And as I am doing, I'm going to show you a little preview of what's coming in the summer. As I'm doing a very lovely hardback edition for Paper Forest, a re-release, like an anniversary version, and my lovely one, I need space for like multiple versions of the same book, like a true author. So yeah, that's my plan for the future. I hope you enjoyed this little ramble of all the books I'm getting rid of and why, and I will see you whenever I see you. Goodbye.